Hello Moglets, today we're talking about Abyss, mainly, I guess, Floor 12. We made a whole dedicated video on Floor 11 if you want to check that out because it is indeed like the hardest floor now. And since I didn't find 9 or 10 particularly difficult or interesting, we're going to go through them rather quickly. 9 is basically just Dragon Spine personified into an Abyss floor. You know, you have sheer cold accumulating, you have these fire things around. Of course, fire characters are going to be very nice here. Floor 9, Chamber 1, first half is pretty standard. There's nothing uber special here. A decent amount of enemies at 15, um, mostly just consisting of slimes. Second half consists of Abyss Mages. Basically, the whole takeaway is fire is good here. Floor 9, Chamber 2, first half is pretty much like Floor 9, Chamber 1, first half. Uh, we have 15 enemies, slimes, hillichurls, Pretty standard stuff. Floor 9, Chamber 2, second half are Fatui guys. Nothing really special about them. We have two Electro ones here, which you'll want some ice to take care of if you can't kill them fast enough. And of course, a uh, Cryo dude as well, which is usually the most dangerous. So again, you should definitely have a fire with you. Floor 9, Chamber 3, first half is just one big lava churl. I don't know exactly what it's called as well as two little arrow dudes targeting you. I personally started with the lower Trill, but eventually decided to focus on the uh, arrow guys as they were being kind of annoying. Again, fire is really going to shine here to get rid of the uh, lower Trill's big cryo shield. Floor 9, Chamber 3, second half is actually quite a bit easier, in my opinion, than the uh, first half. We just have two big Hillitrill dudes, I think they have their own special name, but whatever. Uh, with shields, again, fire gets rid of them super fast, and it's just, yeah you know, getting rid of their shields and then killing them. Uh, this floor was done super, super quick. And then for floor 10, I literally just hit continue and went on with my second team because the sort of vibe I was getting from chat was that, you know, nine and 10 are eh, and then 11 is where it really starts. But yeah, also with floor 10, you know, you accumulate this sheer cold as well. Uh, it's pretty much the same story as floor nine was, you know, there are some slimes, some frosty hillichurls, uh, I believe in this one we also have some Abyss Mages as well, so there's really not much more to say or extra to say. Fire is still going to be king here. Floor 10, Chamber 1, second half, on the other hand, has some of these uh, Sisson Mages, whatever the hell they're called. And uh, your source of heat here is a uh, sort of circling, Sealy sort of deal, as you can see. Do be aware that you only really have to pass the Sealy. You don't have to stay next to it until your bar has been depleted, as you can check out right here and our bar goes down even when we're not next to it. This floor really isn't anything special. I'm sure everyone watching this has dealt with plenty of, you know, the Lucis and Mate. They are weak to physical damage though, in case you didn't know. Floor 10, Chamber 2, first half, more of the same. Lots of little enemies, couple of bigger enemies in there. Floor 10, Chamber 2, second half, has one of these more newish that debuted in uh, Dragon Spine, uh, Ice Mages. I actually haven't totally figured out what's going on with these Ice Mages and their shields yet. Uh, because most of the time they're just dead before they put their shield up. Either way, in my opinion, they're quite a bit easier than the Electra ones since they don't seem to be zip zop zipping all. Then we come to Floor 10, Chamber 3, first half, where we're met with an agent and another one of the mages. Me having Venti, I just kind of went next to the agent and sucked them both in and just started spamming all my ults. That's typically how I get through floors and uh, it seemed to work out really well. The mage died fairly quickly, and then it was just the agent to deal with, and of course, one alone is no big deal. Uh, without Venti or something like that, then, you know, I'd probably recommend trying to get rid of the uh, ice mage first, as she did seem a lot more fragile. Then we come to floor 10, chamber three, second half, which is a lone lava churl, just like in floor nine, except there are no archers this time. Uh, but there are things raining from the sky, which is you know, equally annoying. It's just that you can't kill those. Also, you have this ice stuff on the ground, so it's quite a bit harder than Floor 9's final second half bolt crap, but, you know, it's kind of the same story, honestly. Kill him like you kill the one in the, in the domain, you know? There's not much to say. And then, of course, the infamous Floor 11. We are 30 minutes into over six hours of footage, and this is where we're starting Floor 11. And while I did already make and post some stream highlights revolving around Floor 11, I just want to give a little note here. Of course, by far the hardest is Chamber 2 here because of the defense mechanism garbage. And you really, really want to have some form of CC for both halves. I raised a brand new character literally just for Chamber 2, and that was Sucrose. I got her up to like 50, threw some actually decent artifacts on her, and uh, she did the trick just fine. I already had Vinti though, so 
I don't even know. I can't, I wouldn't know what to recommend without Vinti. I do want to give you a little bit of hope if you don't have Vinti though, because before I raised Sucrose, you know, I only had one sort of CC unit and that was Vinti. And before I raised Sucrose, after a few tries, I had Vinti in my second team and no CC at all in my first team. And the first half of Chamber 2 is regarded as harder because there are a lot more enemies and it's just harder to control all of them. And I actually had some pretty decent runs without any CC as well. I will quickly run through the chambers like I did for the other floors just to make it sort of complete. And then of course we're going to get to the meat of the video which is floor 12. So floor 11, Chamber 1, first half is basically just a bunch of slimes. Floor 11 in general is quite special because it inflicts you with Electro all the time which drains your ults. This is another thing that makes it a lot more difficult than your general floor because especially in abyss one thing i found very important is to try and have your ults ready for the next floor especially when it comes to uh chamber three the final chamber of each floor because you have to do both halves in three minutes and you know starting with ults is obviously going to be a big help for that floor 11 chamber one second half is less but bigger stronger enemies that seems to be kind of the theme you know first half is a bunch of small enemies Second half is a few larger, stronger enemies. I did have a bit of a hard time here without Geo or any great sword users because I didn't really, you know, pay attention to who I'm fighting. But yeah, Overload also eventually did the trick here. And then of course we come to Chamber 2, absolute garbage town. But yeah, you can actually see here on my first attempt we were at 69%. However, this team did have Venti. I eventually did swap them back out. But you can see here was another 69% without Venti or actually any other sort of CC. And here was the winning round where we actually ended with 73 after we raised Sucrose. So whether it was totally necessary or not, I don't know. It was definitely a lot easier and maybe I could have done better with more practice with Sucrose. And then with Venti in my second team, we went from 73 to 69. So we only lost 4% in the second half which means the uh, non-sucrose run would have worked if the second phase turned out as it did here. And then of course, floor 11, chamber three, first half and second half are literally baby mode compared to what you just did. So don't worry about it. It's just some Fatui guys. It's really, no it's really nothing special. I would say it was moderately difficult to three star because these uh, agents in the second half are very tanky, but still nothing compared to 11-2. Moving on to floor 12, this will probably half be stream highlights, honestly, and half a voiceover as I'm doing now. Um, but for the first few chambers, there isn't really much to talk about. Again, chamber one first half just has a bunch of little enemies with their rock shields. Heroes like Albedo and Zhongli are going to be really nice here as not only is Geo boosted, but there are indeed a lot of rock and Geo type things. Second half of chamber one is quite unique though. We have one of these Eye of the Storm doodads, uh, which uh, I was kind of surprised to see at all in Abyss, but yeah, he's there. You take care of him like you take care of any out in the wild. After he's dealt with, you have a Ruin Guard, which is pretty much the same story. I did not have a bow user with me, which was uh, Mega Poggers. I was able to pull off a pretty cool stunt here with uh, Kaching throwing her lightning stiletto into his eye. You can see that here. And he actually goes down. No bow user required. Moving on to Chamber 2 now. Again, more of the same. 15 of the little Fatui dudes, I guess they are. Just the humans throwing bottles, being silly little. There's a lot, but yeah, have AoE in first half. Second half is the opposite story. There are just two agents and that's it. I'm actually not sure why I still had Sucrose in my team. And then we get to floor 12, chamber three, which uh, according to this, it took me four hours to three star. All right. Maybe if there was no agent. As if three minutes wasn't enough. They're just running away constantly. What's the point? Of even finishing it. I did come close several times, but you know, this team you see on the screen, this was the team I actually kept throughout. I did change the second team, however, and I think that's more interesting. And while you can see we only have eight minutes and 20 seconds left, and we're gonna have even less than that once we get through this floor, I did learn a very nice strategy from one of my viewers, which we'll go over. But yeah, basically the second team changed at least twice again we have sucrose in here and then we can see two rock dudes charging at us and you know again the only thing we can actually do against this is overloaded and in this case i don't yeah we really don't have all that much time overloaded does do a decent amount to the shields but with them dashing everywhere and shunling unless she has her ult 
Uh, her bear is kind of stationary and kind of dumb. You know, it's just a little bit hard. But yeah, regardless, this was my first attempt. You can see we're already at uh, 640 when the agent appears. After a few more useless attempts, I decided to gear up Noel to try and take care of those rock shields faster. And this was my second half team for literally about two and a half hours. Because I got close several times and I was like, oh, I just need to be a little bit, a little bit more perfect. Man, even without the agent. Oh, so I did the same mistake I did last time. Decently close, actually. Okay, no. That's... Ugh. Oh, wait, what? Of course I didn't hit that one. This is so stupid, man. I hate it. I hate it so much. Every run is worse than the last. I'm so tired. Why? Why is why is this what the f this dude? Stop running away, you coward! Vinti, you why would you throw it backwards? Okay, I'll go for that dude. No stamina. This is so sad. <laughs> stamina, stamina. Actually, if I had Barbara here instead of Shanling. It's been four hours. Well, sorry, this is. This is what you are uh, coming into, but as the title does suggest, I am suffering. I have been suffering for the past four hours straight, and uh, I think my soul has died. That was pretty funny, Venti. Thanks for that. I need to do that a lot earlier. I quickly learned approximately how much time I'll need at least uh, for the second half. So, if th so, a lot of my runs ended actually in the first half. Uh, because if that just didn't go really well, then it's like, I know I don't have enough time for the second half. I usually wanted at least eight and a half minutes, though if it was close enough, I'd at least try the second half, because why not? Sleep for now. That's already bust. Yeah, I can't go like that, though. <sighs> Damn, that was such a good first run, though. That doesn't work. This one, This one's already way too long. Then someone named Girl Meets Tilt told me to check Discord uh, with a sort of strategy and this helped a lot as well and we're going to try and demonstrate that. I believe the first time I tried this it actually went uh, pretty well. So we uh, start with Binette and throw his ult on the ground. Try and be center here so the uh, miniatures come charging at, at you and then you have to dash away, do Venti's E and then Q. And then go to Mona, do her E, taunt them, do her Q, and then finish off with Zhongli's Q and his held E. And you can see both of them are already more than half dead. It was super hard to nail it like that afterwards, so it's kind of like beginner's luck. It's a very good strat nonetheless, it's just a little bit harder than it seems because your timing needs to be very precise. Uh, if you dash away too early, the mid-a-trolls will kind of you know, swerve and miss each other and be way too far apart. But yes, as you can see here, we ended the first half with an amazing 8.52 left on the clock. Don't worry, however, I did somehow manage to mess this up. By the time I finally got rid of the mid-a-trolls, we only had uh, 45 seconds left, which is definitely doable for the agent, but, you know, we started off with, like, no stamina, and I need lots of stamina for ka -ching. And then he started being annoying with his invisibility stuff. Of course, I made quite a few mistakes just in panic as well. Uh, like just not doing anything there because I was trying to charge attack, but didn't notice my stamina was gone. Uh, one, I know one of these other follow-up attacks just don't hit. Yeah, like that one. It hit once. What's weird is this one actually wasn't closer than some of the other ones. And I had a good at least 20 seconds extra coming into this room. It's weird. Quite sure that that is a fail. How do I just bring them to the wall though? I have to just wait until they walk their slow asses one step at a time. They're never gonna charge when I want them to. Just they're only gonna charge away from me. That dude's still like full health. Yeah, that, I completely messed that up. Um, that didn't used to happen, dude. It wasn't like this before. What am I even trying for? Can't even press the right buttons anymore. That's pog. Yeah, they didn't take any damage though. Oh, wow. She's never had half HP after all that. Yeah, okay, that was... Ah, uh, okay, there we go. Now, unfortunately, I was just looking at that and uh, didn't do anything else there. I think being, like, super centered is also important. 
Yeah, dude. What? What? I don't know why I keep doing that, but whatever. Waited too long there. Poggers, whatever. I think that was close enough, probably. Maybe. It's already too late. <sighs> 8.58! Man! Maybe! I always do some, some, some dumb bull whenever a run is going well. Pointless. Okay. Messed that up. Alright, I'm just gonna chill over here. I'm patient. Like, that was looking good for a second. Oh well, I don't know. I didn't see the timer. And that's how close it was. Four hours into trying, I just killed him and took my two stars. I'm not gonna claim the rewards till it's all nine. I wasn't satisfied with that, no, and of course I was gonna go back in, but I decided to just kill him because I wanted a different team anyway. A very small change. Same first team, however the second half is going to have Barbara in it. And of course nothing changed with the first half. I did have to try this over and over and over. Ah, and that dude's way over there. Alright, well, here we go again. Ah, jeez, I'm way off center. And then when it was finally going well, you know, the uh, miniaturals fell down in 45 seconds. That was like a record for me. What? Stop. Uh, this part, unfortunately, didn't go that well. No! Die, please! It took quite a lot longer than it usually does. Oh my god, no! The mage was super annoying. You've gotta be f***ing kidding me, though. What the f***? Yeah, that's about as hard as I've raged, I would say. Maybe a tiny bit harder. I'm not actually angry, that was just demonstrating. Nah, no, I'm actually kind of angry. <laughs> we went into the last room with 839, which I've already done a lot better, so I wasn't that optimistic. But this was the first time actually trying with a new team, so I was like, whatever, we're gonna see what happens. The first step, of course, is deleting these uh, miniature shields with Noelle there. I decide to use her shield as they cross me to do a little bit more damage. And then I run over to the wall where I know the agent is going to spawn and just have the miniaturals sort of surround me. That's when I pop out the Barber Chi Chi combo, freeze them, do the super conducty good stuff. They can't really charge anywhere because they're constantly getting frozen. It's a pretty good time. We killed them in like record time. It was great. And then of course the same thing with the agent. He's always disappearing, going all over the place. Ah, oh, no, dude. I need to... I need to do Barbara after. And I need to actually inflict this dude with the stuff. You avoided it? And unfortunately, like, Chi Chi's ult did nothing except waste time. But... You can see it. It's gonna work. Nice. I wanna pop off, but every time I do, the microphone gets completely obliterated. Ah, dude. Okay, that was actually so much easier. That was so much easier. I... I, I feel so stupid for not just switching out and trying my initial freeze idea first. Uh, I'll pop off a little bit. Uh, Jesus Christ! Moga! Chen! What the f no, you don't gotta pop off like that, okay? Not like literally. Oh my god. Yeah, that was Pog, even though I made some mistakes, like a lot of- a decent amount of mistakes. And yeah, that's pretty much the story. Of course, the only other thing is to uh, claim all these delicious, juicy rewards. Check out the amazing, I'm sure, artifacts that we uh, did end up getting. Trash, 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 trash. Oh yeah, we also did a few celebratory summons. Nine three-star weapons, and then uh, finally a... Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, Beto. Which I called Bido. And, uh... Yeah, the chat was pretty funny. Beido, Beido, Bido, Bido, Beido, Bido, Bito. But yeah, that's pretty much my little journey here to 36 stars in the Spiral Abyss. First time I've ever 36 starred the Spiral Abyss. I mean, of course, it did change quite drastically, and maybe my characters were just better for it than the old one. But yeah, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video if you did happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.